What's up, boys? Hope y'all are having a great day and even better wiffle ball season. 2018 really has been a great year for whiffs so far. However, today I'm not talking about anything current per se. Today I'm looking back into the past years of the community and listing five incredible catches that, for whatever reason, you probably don't know about. Let's get into it. Now, number five, we're going to go back to FT Wiffle, who I'm starting to realize usually always has a spot on these top fives, <laughs> but Kelvin Jan totally deserves it for this one. Getting off the rubber and making that throw from behind the back to get the runner, also just because he's ranged over so far and made that nice one-handed grab, and it's also really impressive to throw the ball and from that distance and have that much force and accuracy. For all you guys that run the bases in your league, I'm sure that you can appreciate this one. Now the MLWB was a relatively unknown wiffle ball league that had a good stint back in 2013 and was actually one of the first leagues that I watched that got me into the game. So there's that. However, in that 2013 season, they had a crosstown grudge match against another wiffle ball league. And halfway through that game, Vin Sorge rips a line drive off of a tailing riser and Chris Ward makes an absolute snag. A beauty of a catch for pitchers and it would also keep his team in command of that tight game, which they would ride out for a win. Remember in 2016, we lived in this weird alternate universe where Caputo Complex wiffle ball made a comeback? Yeah. Me too. Well, before that comeback abruptly and mysteriously came to an end in August of that year, they gave us one of the best diving catches you will see on YouTube. One-handed, full extension, diving to the wall to rob a line drive hit. Doesn't get much better than that. Fielders, take notes. Coming down to our number two spot, we're going to Fast Plastic. In the 2017 finals game, Ed Packer of Cloud9 rips a ball to deep center, and somehow Matty Griff ranges over and up and over the wall to rob Packer of a home run. Although Cloud9 would go on to win the championship, this catch will always be remembered, especially as Fast Plastic continues to reestablish itself. We will always look back on the 2017 tournament as the growing base, and this catch will be one of the greatest highlights of said tournament. As a famous man once said, wiffle ball is everything and nothing else matters. And I don't think any catch describes that better than our number one spot. In the 2017 National Wiffle Championship game, Justin Jones of the Village Idiots gets his vertical up to make a one-handed catch to keep the game tied 0-0. to zero. One thing I love about this catch is that he goes up and over a chain link fence. That hurts. A lot. And look how he lands. That's what I call giving everything for love of the game, and in the end, it paid off as the Village Idiots would win the game and the title one to nothing. So this catch really did make all the difference. Just goes to show that dedication matters, and this clip shows dedication at its finest. So that's going to wrap it up for this video, fellas. Tell me what you thought below, as well as maybe some other catches and plays that you love that weren't on this list. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, you know the drill. Please drop a like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it, and believe me, it really does help the channel, which has been doing really well as of late, thanks to you guys. So, thank you. Anyways, get out there, boys. Play some whiff, support the community, and I'll be talking to you guys soon. Goodbye.